So today we're doing a skirt steak. This is what we're gonna use in our marinade. We've already prepared our marinade right here. The only thing we have left to do is just to add the sugars in. So we've taken the juice of one lemon, we've squeezed it in, we've taken a half a bunch of cilantro, we've chopped it up, put it in, four or five cloves of garlic minced in, a half to a third of a serrano pepper, very hot. So if you like it spicy, you can use more. Garlic salt, pepper, to taste, we haven't added that either, so we're just gonna put a little garlic salt in there. We're gonna add a little bit of black pepper for a little taste, and then we're gonna add some of this sugar in here with honey. I prefer to use honey just because of, I think it's a, it's a healthier type of sugar because of its natural. Some people just may use sugars. A lot of people like brown sugars in, in their barbecue. So I'm just gonna mix this up this is a pretty coarse way. The other way you can do it, if you want to cheat a little, you can just dump this right into a blender, blend it, and get going that way there. Most of you probably already know this. You can either lay this into a dish and put it on it, or one of the better ways to marinate is to drop your protein into a Ziploc bag, put your marinade in there, and then you can squeeze all the air pockets out, and you know that stuff's going to get in there and do a good job. That guy there is nice and tight. All that marinade is going to get around that protein. We're good in there. Now we'll just stick this in the fridge four or five hours. We'll grill this under high heat, under a sear. Um, I prefer to do this under real direct heat. So if you're going to do it on a pellet grill, we'd probably cut this in half and do one half and then the other directly over the fire pot. Otherwise, it's going to be coals or wood and just really direct high heat. Okay, so we got the classic Weber kettle here. We're burning down this wood here. I put some almond wood on instead of charcoal. I like cooking over real wood. We're gonna burn this down to a nice bed of coals. Then we'll show you how we're gonna sear that skirt steak down. We'll let it stand, we'll cut it, it'll be delicious. Stand by. All right. Interestingly enough, we have similar sized pieces of wood here. But one thing you're gonna notice, take that one, feel it. Okay, similar size pieces of wood, feel that one. Which one's heavier? That one's by a long shot. I know, that's what I was saying. It just it okay. not even feels the same. Hence the name Wadi, Naughty Wood is because of, when you have trees and you have all these pieces coming together, the minerals collect where the knots are. So it's a much denser piece of wood but it's also why you guys will find that clinker when you're done barbecuing in your fire pot because that fire pot is that controlled space where when you're in coals like this, you'll never see that clinker because all those little minerals are spread throughout the ashes. But when you burn it in that controlled chamber, there's nowhere for it to go. It's all there. So what happens is, is when we grind all this wood together with this wood, all those minerals and all that are in there, but that's also where the flavor and the heat comes from, from that density. You won't get this kind of heat with other woods like alders and things like that because of we have so much better density here. So anyhow, I just wanted to kind of show you what that difference is, is this is where the minerals are gonna collect, is where those knots are. Hence, it's a lot denser piece of wood, a lot heavier. Okay, so when you're looking at this fire, you can see some light, whiter smoke coming off. That's that dirty smoke. This, in my opinion, is really what makes offset stick burners and direct heat like this, that just that tick better than what you can get out of pellet because of we don't get that mixture of this dirty smoke mixing with clean smoke to kind of give you a blended flavor of the different smokes. And what the dirty smoke is, what we've talked about in the past, it's that, it's that cellulose material as it's gasifying and turning over, it's wanting to catch fire, but that dirty smoke, it's, it's in the process of gasifying. And as it comes up, it catches fire. But that dirty smoke, if you use too much of it, leaves a bitter taste because of its dirty smoke. And it also is highly carcinogenic. So we want the clean blue smoke. 
But this is why you get a little different flavor profile off of stick burner and direct heat because you're getting a mixture of all that stuff going in there. So just a little tip for you. So the more you know, the better your barbecue is. Okay, we've burned these coals down. We got a little bit of fire in here, but it's time to go. So we're gonna go. So we've taken this skirt steak. I've actually put it in the freezer for about the last 20 minutes to get that core temperature down. Because of this is thin, I want a good sear, but I still want it rare. So I'm gonna put that on there. We're gonna get that sear going. Okay, now what's gonna happen is as this, as this piece of beef starts to heat up, that fat's gonna wanna render down and start dripping. When it starts dripping in, it'll start creating a lot of flame and we'll start getting that dirty black smoke that's gonna start rolling off, which we don't want. So what we'll do is we'll just roll that guy over really quick to keep that from getting out ahead of itself. Again, I'm going to keep the fatter, the, the, the thinner sides off of the, where the high heat is. And I'm just going to sear this guy down really good. Okay, same thing. I'm just going to be hitting this thing and watching it. I'm not going to be probing it for temperature because you're going to get a false reading as thin as this skirt steak is. I'm just going to keep doing this kind of thing right here. Where we're hitting this, we'll get a good sear on it. Okay, now you can see that fat rendering down where that thing's really wanting to catch fire. So we'll pull that over so we don't get as much direct flame on there. When, that's, when that meat starts to shrink and tighten, that's when you're getting some actual medium in there cooking. We're just about there. We're not going to go much longer with this guy before we pull it off and let it stand. I'm going to hit it one more time on this side for just a few seconds. And that's about it. I'm going to set that in there. I'm going to choke my fire down here. And we're just going to let this guy stand for about 10 minutes. Okay, so we got our skirt snake. Grains are running this way. So we're gonna cut opposite of those grains. Okay, so, as you can see, she's beautiful. She's absolutely, absolutely beautiful the way she's done. 